right? You know, that there are things that are going on in Kahaku uh, Ulo Oke Kolani that are focused on language and, and Mo'olelo that are all written uh, before Captain Cook ever showed up. And there are things that Western historians write about that are all about their big heroes. And then there are these things going on in the 19th century that I think are still falling through the cracks. And I think that this particular site that you're looking at on the board is one of them, right? No one looked at that and said, hey, that's a heiau because it doesn't look like a heiau, right? It doesn't have the form of a classic heiau. Uh, and so if it's not a heiau, it's got to be a Russian fort, right? Because Russians were here at the time that it was being built. And so we end up with these dichotomized ideas of what someone like Kamuli was doing in the early 1800s. And so I think the big contribution that I had, given my particular perspective, is it doesn't look like any Russian-American company fort that I've ever seen before. And it also doesn't look like any heiau that I've seen before. But what I do see is that Kamuli's own kauhale was right outside of this thing, right? That is in the historical literature there. And if you are building this massive thing that's sitting all by itself out there, and there's a kauhale right here, who do you think Kamuli wanted in charge of those guns and cannons? 